We are in a different place now, is what CDPHE said, as they look into ways to move away from this emergency pandemic mode. However, Dr. Phil Danielson, a professor at University of Denver, told me this pandemic is not over yet. It has obviously been an incredibly difficult two years, and we all want to move on with our lives. How do we move on when COVID is still here? CDPHE is researching how to treat the virus as an endemic instead of a pandemic. I asked a professor, Dr. Phil Danielson, what that means exactly. The watchword for the endemic phase of the disease is predictability. And up to this point, the disease has been anything but predictable. Danielson runs the University of Denver saliva lab charged with monitoring COVID on campus. There may be periods where the virus settles down into what appears to be an endemic phase and where it is predictable. That may happen in a few months. That may happen in a year. I mean, I, I wish I had the answer. But now the state is looking for someone else to help identify triggers for different responses, establish the roles of non-governmental entities, and set a time frame to implement all this. And think about you know, how do we start moving some of this work into the more traditional environments of the healthcare system. The request for proposal document says the budget for planning this transition could be between $100,000 and $170,000, and they're looking to start this as early as next week. The state's doing the right thing by at least planning for the future, but ultimately um, the virus is going to tell us when it gets to its endemic phase. Uh, I think there are certainly some encouraging signs in terms of how the virus has mutated to date, but do I think we're out of the weeds yet? No, not yet. Now, Dr. Danielson warned me that the virus will continue to mutate. So no matter what the state decides to do next, he says vaccines are still your best defense against COVID-19. At the live desk, Carly Moore, Fox 31.